and a lot of y'all need to stop hating on your boy. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, but we are definitely gonna grow a great fan. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Gunther the Great. Can we all agree that school at one point in our life really wasn't cool and we really weren't feeling it? That was how I felt when I decided to drop out. As you guys see in the title, I dropped out of school when I was... I think it was right after I turned 20. But yeah, I dropped out of college at the age of 20. And you know, college was really weird. I thought it was tight at first. I thought college was really cool. Going into college was like, it seemed amazing because it's like a new experience. You're meeting new people, new friends and everything. Oh yeah, just to like kind of do a throwback, I'm actually wearing my college t-shirt. I was going to the Art Institute of Kansas City and then I moved up here to go to the Art Institute of Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, something in my eye. I went to the one up here in Phoenix after that I transferred out I actually want to tell you guys how kind of bogus our Institute was and how they like cheese me big time I don't know they kind of just threw me off with everything they did There's so many stories I have to tell about college There was so many things that went wrong. They were doing some weird stuff with us They were just like kind of throwing us off not teaching us the right stuff. It was just kind of crappy honestly just to like start it off let's start with the IDs that I got at school I got this one right here for real come on they're gonna allow me to do this while I'm taking my ID picture like I was literally doing duck lips in that photo and then they're just like yeah it's cool you, you can do it every I'm just like okay it was cool at the time but then I'm like you guys seriously you can take your job serious come on guys and then tell me how much they just ruined my whole career with this one Come on guys, it's an art school. Make the picture look nice. Y'all ain't got no like Canon 80Ds back there or nothing like that, some Sony A7 IIs. Come on, come on guys. You're gonna beef up your quality for real, but I know that Art Institute is going under, I am for sure. All of the schools might be closing down real soon. The one in Kansas City that we were going to closed down, or is in the process of closing down. That's why we moved up to Phoenix. And that was the only reason that we moved here. Kind of the reason that we moved up here, honestly. Let me tell you guys the whole story. So, me and Chandler, which is my brother, we were going to school and then we were going to enroll for our next quarter or whatever and so we're going in we're walking in we're here to enroll and then they're like oh you're an hour late and we're just like what the heck we're late for enrollment and then I was like are there any way we can still enroll and make things happen to where we can be in school this whole quarter so we're not doing nothing and that was still when we're in Kansas City and then they're like no you can't do anything literally we walk out of the front doors of the college and we're like we're moving to Phoenix that was the first thing that popped into our head and we called our parents right away and told them hey we didn't get enrolled we're moving to Phoenix they're like when we're like we're two months so we ended up doing that and still in our mindset we're like we're moving to Phoenix to go to school so we had to do a buttload of stuff and this is how like school sucks really because all of the pre-work that you got to do to just get into school is just as hard as the schoolwork I think it's just it's harder trying to get into a college rather than like doing the work that the college gives you the work that they gave us was easy it was cake it was literally like, stuff that I was doing in high school maybe even middle school and I was like are you serious and then I was in my mindset I'm just like okay I'm just here to get the paper I just want to get my diploma and get Get out of here start my job whatever and my mindset back then was to like work my way up in the business and everything like that and then I started to develop this thing to where I was you know I can do this on my own honestly and once I got that mindset everything changed for me I was like school ain't for me all of this stuff but let's go back to the story I was talking about okay so we're moving to Phoenix to call my parents okay we're moving in two months that's what I told them and then a month passes by and I said you know what? there's no reason we should be here anyway in Kansas City so I was like let's move next week so we make the decision, we call our parents, we're like, hey, we're coming down there in a week. And then they're like, hey, you gonna do this? I'm like, don't worry, we'll figure it out. And then we just like had to make moves. We had to do a buttload of stuff that we didn't like. We had to go to the apartment, say, hey, cancel our lease and all this. We had to pay a buttload of money. <sighs> It was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. But I guess I'll leave that for another story time or whatever. We had to do all that. And just thinking about all the stuff that we had to do just to stay in school or go to school is insane that we even did it, you know? Because so many people waste their time oh, picking a college, figuring out what their major is gonna be, what they wanna do when they, when they grow up, when they graduate. They still haven't figured that out. And that's insane for people to even dive into college and not know what they exactly wanna do, you know? So we moved up to Phoenix and literally we enrolled. That took some time as well. It was kind of annoying. We had to enroll here. We had to, or actually before we even enrolled here, we were taking online classes online for a month before we got there and the classes were actually a little cool. One of them was really hard, it was interesting, but it was really hard, I'm not gonna lie. We moved up here and then we were finally doing on, 
campus classes. The first day seemed tight because you're meeting new people, of course. And then a week passes by, and then we start the next week, and I'm just like, dude, this is exactly the same as Kansas City. And then I'm just like, you know what, college is, it doesn't matter where you go, college is probably gonna suck. Depending on who you are, honestly, it just sucked for me because I didn't like it, you know? And it wasn't feeding me what I needed to be fed because I knew most of the stuff they're teaching me, and I'm like, are you guys serious? I literally would tell my teachers I'm not wasting my time on doing something that, I'm, that I've done like in high school, you know? Some teachers did understand, and I really appreciate that for sure. And then I, t I remember on the first day of school up in Phoenix, I told one of my teachers, I said, you know when you go around the class and then you say your name, you say what you're doing and everything. Yo, what up? I said my name, and then I'm like, I do YouTube. She's like, what do you mean you do YouTube? And I was like, yo, I do all this. And they're like, oh, that's cool. And then they're like, whoa. And then that was back when I didn't have like as big as a following. I told her, I was like, yeah, if things kick off for that, I'm definitely gonna drop out. I like told her I'm gonna drop out of school when things like start changing. Things didn't like dramatically change, but things are growing and I see the constant growth and everything. I was like, you know what? Let's drop out of college because this is not feeding us what we want. We have so many opportunities if we have more time to do these things, we called our parents because classes were literally four hours long. That's just way too much time to even go over a lesson and teachers seemed like they didn't like it either but they acted like they liked it and they thought that it was not gonna get into that. We ended up calling our parents and saying, I actually made a video on it and I was like, yo mom and I FaceTimed her on my computer and I was like, hey. And it was weird, I was like kind of scared to tell her but then I was like, you know what, I don't even care. I'm grown, your boy's grown up. You know, I, I told her, I was like, yo, I'm dropping out of college, what do you think? And she's like, just do whatever you want, you know? And I'm so glad that our parents like that. Like, I really appreciate my parents because they allow us to do what we want and then they, they, they set us on the right track for going on the wrong track for sure. They know that when we want to do something that we're going to do it anyway and that's, that's kind of how our parents roll. I'm so thankful that my parents are like that because me and Chandler have been making moves ever since we dropped out of college. Right when we dropped out of college, we said, you know what? We're gonna start networking, start making moves. We networked, I started doing video work for people, uh, uh, editing work for people. I sent some work over to Houston area, Tex uh, Houston, Texas. They liked it. They like communicated with other people. They hit me up, I did more work for them. And then I did work out there. And then I was like, you know what? Should we have moved to Houston? That was kind of going through our head at the same time. And then I was like, nah, who cares? Like, I kind of like West Coast better. So I was going through our head too. Like so much stuff was going on. And this is after we dropped out. And these are just like the opportunities what happened after we dropped out. So we dropped out, opportunities came, and then we made the decision to take a trip to California because there was a man out there that we wanted to work for. So we took a trip, you know, we went out in faith, you know, we did what we wanted to do. It didn't seem like it was going to go our way, but we did this project for a man and he really enjoyed it and he's pretty well known. He liked it, so he gave us a call and he actually FaceTimed us and it was like, what the heck? He actually liked our work. And he's like, I want you guys to come back out and do some more work. So we did more work and kept going back and forth, back and forth, and that's kind of what we're doing right now. Kept going back and forth and doing work for him and like opportunities have been swinging open, doors have opened open, <laughs> doors have opened open, doors have opened, swung open and everything. It's crazy how much opportunities we got just from dropping out of school. And I'm not saying that the same is gonna happen for you to so, so don't go tell your parents like yo I'm dropping out of school because opportunity is gonna happen this and that the reason we dropped out is because the school wasn't feeding us we knew we had opportunities but we didn't want to wait to like get the paper for the opportunities to take place you know so it's kind of dumb for us to be in school that's why we dropped out so don't go tell your parents I'm dropping out because it is only if you really know really really know we were doing work for him bounce back and forth and he really liked it so we talked to other companies and they liked it we did work we're starting to do work for other companies and then just communicating with them and and then finally got on a little payroll with a company like it's insane like we're on a payroll with a company how crazy is that and we still do have our day jobs or whatever it's kind of almost accessory now since we are trying to like make money on top of what we already do that's one of the things why I'm so busy is because I'm trying to work on my craft and do it completely and not have a day job and that's one of the things you get you really got to do is focus on your craft focus on what you really love to do and make sure make sure it's the right thing to do make sure it's what you really want to do and what you love and want to do your the rest of your life you know I really love filming making and that's why I really love it and I really spend a lot of time with it. It's like my baby. I really take care of it and I really spend time with it and I really just want it to grow. So that's why I do it. So then all those opportunities that, and then if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Raymond. He honestly like opens some, a lot of doors for us. He really just kind of mentors us. He really does help us out a lot and I, re I really do appreciate that from Raymond as well and our parents like Raymond as well so that's really cool. Not too long ago, 
my homie now, but Berlizzi, he hit me up on Twitter, or he followed me on Twitter, and I was like, what the heck, he followed me on Twitter. And I was like, this has to be fake. I don't know why, I thought it was fake. And then I tweeted out, I said, oh snap, Berlizzi just followed me on Twitter. Please spare my life. Like, I don't know what I said, something along the lines of that. I was like, please don't roast me. And it was funny, and then he messaged me, and, and like, we started talking, and I think a week or two weeks later, we went down back down to California, and then met up with him. We ate some food with him, like some lunch or whatever. We started talking to him, and then like, doors have opened, now we have a collab video coming out real soon, which is freaking amazing. I never thought I'd be collabing with Berlizzi, which is awesome. And I really do appreciate Berlizzi as well. He let Berlizzi, I'm calling him Berlizzi on the, on the screen so he keeps his persona, but I really appreciate him so much because he's let us stay at his place. He really took care of us for, for real. Like there's so many people that take care of me and Chan and we really want to give back to them. They are definitely blessed to be a blessing. We're definitely blessed to be a blessing as well. That's definitely what we're trying to do. We're just trying to grow and school is really holding us back. And that's why I dropped out guys. If school isn't for you, make sure you figure that out and make sure you get it down to your parents and don't just do it on your own. I know, I know Nate, he kind of dropped out and didn't tell his parents at first, but he finally did tell them, so that's cool. Oh yeah, you guys have been asking where Nate is. Um, he's always here, he just, he's been really busy with, with everything, so he'll definitely, he actually shot my last video, the, the Denzel Curry video. Yeah, that's kind of what's going on with life, that's why I dropped out of college, that's why school wasn't for me, and that's why opportunities came, because I have more time to do those, I have more time to take up those opportunities and actually go out in faith and like go out to California and just hope things happen, because sometimes we go out there and we're driving, and then in my mind, I'm just like, I'm not even sure if things are gonna work out Today. but they end up working out because I feel like God is in our favor and that's for sure and I believe in that and that's so awesome and I'm really ready to grow up grow up I'm ready to blow up because things are gonna blow up for sure and you guys are got to be ready for that and a lot of y'all need to stop hating on your boy I'm <laughs> just kidding no but we are definitely gonna grow up great fam and I believe it for sure and it's coming soon it's time for our season to blow up so let's be ready for that y'all and stay in school kids and good luck this year if it's your senior year and have a good year everyone Peace. Have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. God bless.